and glaze this piece this morning. Should be pretty easy. I'm going to try and get something to be sort of in that family of decoration. We'll see how it turns out. There's quite a bit more color on this. Um, we'll see, this is like a duplicate test of this particular tile, which was a test. I'm finding that the colorant is a little reactive with the glaze. So we'll see how that comes out. Yeah, stirring the glaze in the morning is a real scientific. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. I should do this, I should do that right. Glaze is primarily um, feldspars and frits uh, with silica and doesn't have a lot of kaolin in it or clay of any sort, ball clay, bentonite, whatever, you're going to have some, some uh, problems brushing it. But these just seem to have the right amount of stuff. And because they're all uh, John Britt based glazes, you know, from his book, then they will all have his, um, we should just change the name of Bentonite to John Britt, just Britt. It's not Bentonite anymore, I'll just call it Britt. We put 2% Britt in it. But a lot of times people don't, don't realize that a glaze will brush well because they don't even try it. But... I try brushing everything because my Raku work is all brushed. Um, I have some forms that can't be um, dipped well unless I dip them in one color and I want two colors on them. So the inside's a different color than the outside and I have big slits down the side. So it can't be dipped. Can't be dipped in pork. I'm just waiting for it to, to clear up a little bit. Then I'm going to apply um, the black glaze with a little bulb syringe. Not very expensive. Get them in the um, like CBC or Walgreens, something like that, in the baby snot aisle. I uh, don't let the glaze get too dry before I apply um, the glaze over the top. And the reason is because sometimes, and glazes are different, Sometimes they don't want to adhere. If you let the first glaze dry too much, um, like bone dry, like next morning dry, um, the top glaze can't adhere to it or won't adhere to it. I suppose it can, but it chooses not to. And when that happens, then you end up with um, crawling of the top glaze from the bottom glaze. So here it goes. It's pretty quick, but I'm going to put a little some little um, like patterns in here and you'll see that go on. Adds a little bit more interest. Now I'm gonna let that dry for just a itty bitty bit, like right there. Then I'm gonna add another layer, especially on this bottom part. And I'll let that dry and see the backside's not too bad. That's gonna be just, um, I'm gonna leave that just as it is. And this is just about where I'm gonna do one more. And then we're gonna leave it just like that. So we're at a place where we can either finish the video now or we can wait and include the picture of the piece tomorrow. So which would you prefer us to do? Would you like to see the video completed now and never see the unfinished piece? Or would you like to wait until tomorrow to see the whole thing? Okay, then that's what we'll do. Well, you wanted to see it. There it is, kiln fresh. Particular stamp. But here is that, uh, here's that one right there. And a little bit less reactive with the color, so I got more color for my brushwork. 
So that's kind of fun. <laughs> 